The Speaker of Parliament, Anita Amonk, was dissatisfied with government's slow pace in fronting bills to Parliament for processing, which has opened a huge door for private members' bill. We are disappointed because of the pace that government is moving. So we are forced to make the House active. While seeking leave of Parliament to introduce a private member's bill, the Parliamentary Committee on Trade, Tourism and Industry delegated Bukoto West County Member of Parliament, Sentai Muhammadi, to present a motion to introduce the Consumer Protection and Management Bill 2022. The bill seeks to harmonize the protection of consumers against oppression, bad pricing and monopolists by putting in place a one umbrella law. Uh, business organizations must follow ethical values and any form of exploitation of the consumers, such as unfair trade practices, adulterations and misleading advertisements must, must be avoided. After a huge support of the motion by the MPs, the Deputy Attorney General Jackson Kafuzi opposed the move asserting that government was in advanced stages of developing a similar bill. The Attorney General did not get credit from the MPs. I'm requesting, please hear me out. I'm requesting that uh, you give us time to harmonize with the mover of this motion so that uh, we do not have uh, conflicting uh, clauses. Order, Madam Speaker. To those in favor, say unto the condolence. The eyes have it. The August House, bases from experience of government taking over bills from Parliament, and later becomes silent. Are we proceeding right if we allow the minister to lie to us that he has the bill? Those stories are always there. That is the same thing that happened on the sports bill. That is the same thing which happened on with all the bills. In the similar spirit, the Deputy Attorney General Jackson Kafuzi was again bounced when he attempted to block the motion by Toro Woman Member of Parliament, Sarah Opendi, who also pursued leave of Parliament to introduce a private member's bill, titled the Alcohol Control Bill 2022, to further regulate alcohol use in Uganda. To enact a comprehensive piece of legislation that contains provisions that address the prevailing circumstances regarding the consumption and challenges, challenges caused by the excessive use of alcoholic drinks. However, I strongly believe that this bill offends the provisions of Article 93 of the Constitution, which is a restriction on matters of financial implication. You're, you're speculating. And for you, it's like your instructions not to allow any bill, but we shall allow it. I now put a question. I now put a question that the House grants leave to honorable Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gwitabinji, UBC News.